Hello everyone, I'm back with another Reddit Addicts episode. If you find my videos entertaining, please kindly subscribe and like them. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions and kind notes. Now, let's get started with today's exciting stories. Wife cheated and it went badly wrong for her. I can't believe this happened and just wanted to write it down. This post won't go into all the details as it would be far too long. Also the timeline of events, from my perspective, will be mixed up Nolan style, but it will make sense as you read it. I won't go into detail on my emotional state either, just know I was a mess. My 31M wife, 29F, just moved into a big city to start new jobs. We have been wanting to make the move since before COVID and finally took the plunge. We both earn six figures each and because of this, and having no kids yet, we could afford to live a life of semi-luxury. This included going out to eat and not having to check prices, enjoying nice holidays, and generally having nice things. Our apartment was a 1,000 square feet two bed in the center and whilst expensive, worth it for the location. Life was generally pretty good, we were in love, had sex regularly, never really argued too much, but it all changed when she met Jane, not real name, at work. Jane worked directly with my wife and was the person she had the most contact with at work. They quickly became friends and initially I was happy she found someone she gets along with so quickly and can go out for drinks with etc. But then it started to go downhill. Jane started trying to convince my wife that I was holding her back, that monogamy is no longer needed by women who have jobs, and that she should be hooking up with men far more conventionally attractive than me. I didn't know all this was going on until after, as mentioned at the start. Jane would always go on about my height, I am 5 feet 8 inches, and how I'm not traditionally masculine. I saw texts between them after the fact and Jane was describing the feeling of being with a more masculine man, how it's something every woman should experience, and asking my wife about me and how dominant I am. Granted, I am not the most dominant guy in bed, but I would be more than happy to do so if my wife had discussed this with me. This went on for months, Jane basically trying to convince my wife that I'm not good enough for her. She had learned from my wife things that I have supposedly done wrong and would labor on those points. For example, how I was unable to fix her car and had to call someone so she was late for an important meeting. I am not a mechanic but apparently men know how to fix cars. She was sending my wife content and podcasts to watch about relationships and women's needs in a relationship etc. Eventually, my wife started being reciprocal to Jane. This is when Jane up the ante, started calling me horrible names to do with my height, and my wife just went along with it. From here, Jane moved on to her second stage. She introduced her to a guy. A traditionally masculine guy who was tall and muscular and supposedly better than me. So my wife was talking with him, started off coy, but soon progressed to flirting, and eventually full-on sexting. Won't go into what he said but it was extremely detailed in what he would do to my wife, and unlike the woman I thought I knew she seemed to love it. They eventually began arranging to meet up to fuck, and this is where things began to unravel for my wife. She was extremely stupid and booked a hotel using our joint card, I asked her about it and she said it was for work. I said why on earth do you need a hotel 10 minutes away for work? She had not prepared for this and was like a deer in headlights. She said the company are having drinks there and people booked rooms to stay the night. I could tell she was lying. I assume given everything Jane has been telling her she expected a guy like me to just roll over and not even question it. Now I was suspicious. A few days later when she was asleep I went through her phone and connected WhatsApp to my computer so I could have a proper look without her knowing. This is where I discovered all those messages. I didn't really know what to do at this point but the day of the hotel stay rolled around and I decided I had to confront her. So I did, and she wasn't even apologetic. In fact, she said it is what she has needed for years and it may actually help our marriage. 
I told her if she walks out that door we are done, and she left after basically saying she doesn't care right now cause she's got him waiting for her. I didn't see my wife for the next three days. I resisted the urge to call her or beg her to come home, and was trying my hardest to go along with it. Then I got a call, it was from her company's HR department. They wanted me to go in for a meeting. When I arrived I sat down with two HR staff and I guess one of the managers. They explained that I am here as I need to be told as part of an ongoing investigation that I had been spoken about using work communication systems and that the result of this was a huge fight between two employees. I was very confused and asked who the fight was between, they said my wife and Jane. They could sense I was even more confused and said that they will explain everything. Long story short, after my wife left that night the guy didn't show. My wife then found out that the guy she had been cheating on me with was not actually a guy, it was Jane catfishing her. When my wife found out she was at work and there was a huge fight, hence why I was there now to answer some questions. And that's the reason I said I can't believe this happened. My wife is now unemployed and has lost her husband because she got catfished. Crazy. She did get back in touch, but it went how you might imagine. I may do an update if interested. Edit, people getting hung up on the HR point, let me explain further. HR is in place to help protect a company's interests. There was a physical altercation at work, and the people involved had been using company equipment to message, and often during working hours. This warrants an investigation. They invited me in to see if I could help provide more info and help give them a better timeline of events. I wasn't forced to go in, they asked me, and I was curious. Say for example, there's a fight at work, it's very easy for the company to be sued. Somebody can get caught in the crossfire, or say they did, and a multitude of other potential things which are bad for the company. Really not sure why HR thoroughly investigating this is surprising. We hope you enjoyed this story. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. And before you go, please be sure to subscribe for more.